Hi, I'm Susan Waters from Exceeding Joy. Our scripture this week is 2 Timothy 1 verse 6 to 7, which says, Therefore, I remind you to stir up the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hands. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. Today, I want to talk about love. Ephesians 3 verse 19 in the Amplified Bible says that you may come to know practically through personal experience the love of Christ, which far surpasses mere knowledge without experience, that you may be filled up throughout your being to all the fullness of God, so that you may have the richest experience of God's present presence in your lives, completely filled and flooded with God himself. Understanding God's love is a continual process with amazing benefits. The more revelation we have of his love, the more secure we become and the more we're able to trust him. We struggle to trust God because of the unfaithfulness of people. God is always trustworthy. The deeper we go in our love walk with Him, the less we care about the fluctuating opinions of others. His love empowers us to live the life that we were created to live. We gain the courage to boldly live out our faith in action, not just words. Of all the many benefits, which are too numerous to, me to mention in a short video, the greatest one aside from salvation is the intimacy we can enjoy with Him. We can be open and honest without a fear of rejection, and we can bask in His unconditional love that is beyond what words can describe. Love changes people. Love heals and restores. Love supports and encourages. God's love is freely given to all of us. Do we receive his love or do we allow the lies of the enemy to hold us back from his incredible love? I have two challenges for you today. The first one, tell God that you want to fully accept and embrace his love and ask for his help to do this. The second one, Choose to live a lifestyle of dealing with the lies of the enemy that hinder your intimacy with God. Bless you as you go deeper in your love walk with God. We'll see you tomorrow.